Imagine being a kid trapped in an island with only other kids. What would you do? In Lord of the Flies by William Golding, this group of boys is faced with this question exactly. What to do? After their plane crashes into the island, all the adults die. They look around for a while and they find that there's other kids and they have a meeting. This meeting is led by Ralph, particularly, and Ralph decides that there should be a leader. There has to be a leader. So Ralph comes up with the idea that he'll be the leader because he's the oldest and it just makes the most sense. And so they decide they have to get all these jobs done and they, what better way to do it with all these boys than to divide and conquer? So they have to get things done like hunting for food and creating shelter and exploring the island more just to know what's there. Uh, the group soon becomes aware that they might not really be alone on this island after one of the little boys sees something questionable, but nobody really believes him except for a few, so they think maybe they're not alone on this island, and they don't know what to do about it, but the the controversy over this this beast, as they call it, really tears the group apart, and they start to turn against each other. In a rather violent matter, they get they do get pretty violent, and they they get pretty violent. Yes, um, I thought the book overall was very intriguing, even though at sometimes it got a little dull, just like all books. Um, the way that the boys turned against each other when they found out about the beast and there was all the controversy over the beast was really surprising to me and I think that that is something that they're not that these 10 12 year old boys aren't used to doing and hurting each other and everything and I think that it was really probably scary for them uh, it was scary for them um, with describing the characters and the events, the author did a very thorough job and I feel like it was easy to follow and easy to follow but also a bit challenging. Um, I would recommend this book to anyone who's looking for a book to read. I think it was very, I think, I think it was really, really good and it, it really, it really got, gets you to think what would you do in this situation? What how would you be able to survive on this island? Um, and I would definitely rate it probably 9 out of 10, if not a 10 out of 10, except for the parts that it's a little boring sometimes. Um, and so not everyone makes it off this island alive, but who will survive? <laughs>